Hello, SRJC community. Welcome to March. It is Women's History Month, and we have a variety of events and activities planned. Please take a look at our website so that you can join us. I feel especially honored to have been invited to participate in one of those panels, um, identifying as a woman, a woman of color, and someone who's incredibly passionate about empowering um, women and female identified colleagues, friends, students, community members. We also have um, our upcoming production of Orlando. So behind me, you have the theater. Get your tickets today. Um, as always, an ongoing series of athletic events. Um, the weather is clearing up now, so hopefully no more canceled games. Um, we also are coming off of a pretty amazing uh, February Black History Month of events. And as a college community, we've been doing a lot of work to focus on inclusion, diversity, equity, and the work that we need to do as a college campus to build an inclusive community where everyone has a sense of belonging. And um, the work is ongoing. We are here, we are doing it together and absolutely thrilled um, to hold that kind of space at SRJC. Hi everyone, welcome to Women's History Month at SRJC. This year, among our many exciting events, we celebrate our very own Dr. Angelica Garcia making her story as the first female president and superintendent of SRJC. You can full of, find a full list of our events at events.santarosa.edu slash Women's History Month 2024. All our events are free and open to the public, and they qualify for Forever Flex for instructors. Please invite your students and consider offering extra credit. We hope to see you all there. Hello, SRJC colleagues. I'm Bita Bookman, ESL faculty and department chair. I'm thrilled to share some exciting news with you. This month, the ESL department will be renamed to English for Multilingual Students, or EMLS for short. We are changing our department's name because we recognize that ESL, or English as a Second Language, does not accurately reflect the diverse experiences and strength of our students. ESL portrays multilingual students through a deficit lens and ignores the fact that oftentimes our students already speak two or more languages. Uh, it contributes to their, to their stigmatization and the perpetuation of negative stereotypes and biases against them. By shifting to EMLS, we are embracing a more inclusive and empowering approach to language learning. EMLS fosters a positive identity. Uh, it rejects the monolingual bias and it uh, highlights uh, the rich linguistic and cultural assets that multilingual students bring to our campus and our college. I invite you to join us in celebrating this uh, important mind milestone and uh, in embracing the possibilities it presents. Oh, hey, I didn't hear you come in. Hi. I'm Justin Smith. I'm a professor here at the theater department, and I'd like to talk to you about our only upcoming production this semester, Orlando. It opens March 1st. It's this play about identity and time travel, and you know what? Why don't you just watch the commercial? You're going to love it. All right. Have a good day. What are you doing here? Go. Get out of here. I'll see you later.
What is Orlando about? I love answering this question. Orlando is about me. The book was originally written by Virginia Woolf in the year 1928, and then it was adapted for stage by Sarah Rule in the year um, 1998, I believe. You believe? Yes, I do. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a female author, a female playwright, and a female director. It's a fantastic femme effecta. What? Orlando travels across many centuries and continents over the course of the story, and I think it's very intriguing to see him start out as a young man in the 16th century and then end her journey as a woman in the 20th century. So it's spro spoken word theater, which lends itself to its pneumatic main themes. It's a lot of narration, but like you are the character as you're narrating. Yeah. You know? It's in the style that the book is written, so we're almost like speaking it in third person, just straight out of the book. One evil martini ordered his evil twin brother, Borbando. Borbando? <laughs> the back of a wild horse, or the deck of a tumbling ship. Borbando pulled out a gun. Oh, not the- We're speaking the words as Virginia intended them. Yeah, no, I definitely prefer playing women over playing men, because like, honestly, women are just better. Orlando as a man, not a great feminist. So I think it's almost like karma that he ends up as a woman. The SRJC produces some great shows. It opens March 1st. March 1st. March 1st. March 1st. March 1st through March 10th. March 10th. March 10th. Get your tickets at srjcuniversitytickets.com. Hello, SRJC community. My name is Kimberly Starkey and I am a Dean in Student Services here to share with you a new resource. Um, I've started on the home screen of the Santa Rosa Junior College webpage, and what I'm doing is going to the search bar and typing in mental health resources. By searching for this, it will take you to a new page, Mental Health Resources Student Services, and what this resource has is all of the mental health services that are available across the campus to students, faculty and staff, and our campus community. This is meant as a way for everyone to be able to access what is available to them at SRJC in a very quick and reasonable way. These all link to the various um, services that are offered and um, there are also two Canvas courses that people can take if they'd like more information um, about mental health resources or um, crisis techniques. Thank you very much for your attention and I look forward to seeing you around campus. Hi, I'm Lacey Campbell, head women's basketball coach here at Santa Rosa Junior College. Our regular season is winding down and we'll be heading into playoffs next week. We want to thank all the fans that have come out to Hale Pavilion and supported us bringing energy and excitement to our games. Our girls are working hard and working to make a big run into playoffs. If you're looking for information on the playoff brackets, you can find that at Santa Rosa Junior College Women's Basketball website, srjcathletics.com. We have a great semester of music concerts planned for you featuring the choir, the band, jazz, piano, orchestra, and even student soloists. We have two weeks of concerts in Burbank Auditorium in mid-March and also mid-May. We have guest artists from San Francisco Opera and Burning Man Festival. We have multimedia concerts, jazz concerts with Bennett Friedman and students in Newman Auditorium, student solo performance recital, and even a piano recital. You can find more concert info at music.santarosa.edu slash events, or just click the events tab. One special presentation on March 13th, SRJC choirs present an evening of best-loved Mexican vocal music. 
and some other Spanish language songs as well, featuring the music duo Prudencio y Jesusa as guest artists. This concert's going to move you to dance and sing hits like La Adelita, Aires de Mayab, Veracruz, and many more. We'll see you at the shows. And that's what's new at SRJC.